everybody, I'm in the Little Wood, also known as Martin, and welcome back to Minecraft. So today is very, very exciting for us. We're recording this on the Friday, but you won't be seeing this until Saturday, the 2nd of June. Uh, and welcome to the Minecraft server for the saplings. The official in the Little Wood Minecraft server uh, is provided by Stud Fork. They're our good friends, it's Josh and all the team. Um, and this, today, this video is basically us showing you the brand new system of going from an acorn to becoming a sapling. So basically the sapling is a normal character, they get to go around the normal world. Uh, but before then they have to prove their worth. And last time we had a thing where you had to build a house, but obviously not everybody's a builder. So this time we're actually doing it on a survival based method. So we'll quickly run through these signs and there's all the commands and stuff inside that you need to know about. Hi Toby by the way. Hello. Hello. Sorry. Hello there. <laughs> just didn't let some, like, just completely ignored me. Just did some like lengthy intro. Uh, anyway, <laughs> Toby's actually done a really cool tutorial video, which I'll put an annotation on the screen right now and a link in the description. And oh. if you go to inthelittlewood.com slash MC server, uh, Toby's video is actually going to be highlighted on there and not this one. This is just to make you aware that everything is is in existence, which is good. It's also <laughs> not just birthday today, Toby. It is? Yeah! I thought it was last week. Uh, did you not see it on your home screen today? No. Log out. Go have a look. Log out? Okay. Yeah, yeah, Am I logging out? Log out? Oh, happy birthday, Notch. There we go. Yeah, see? Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> you log out and the whole server goes down. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. Hello, everybody. <laughs> that didn't happen. Yeah, that, that never happened at all. Anyway, <laughs> as we were saying, welcome to Acorn Land. You are an acorn. You may build here, but acorns must build temp. Oh, everything you build in Acorn Land is temporary, by the way. Because yeah. obviously, for some of the achievements, you need to find like lapis to make blue wool for one of the achievements. So obviously, once all the blue wool's gone, there's no way of doing it. So this server and this world, should I say, actually resets a lot. And then the main world is actually one that's consistent and stays the same, which is good. Uh, to get your sapling rank, you must pass some tests. As a sapling, you can visit other worlds and do more. Ahead is the Acorn School, where the rules are posted, as well as how to become a sapling. Good luck. I wrote that sign, by the way. Tell me that on there. Apologies about the server issue. Coom Doom took down the database. <laughs> nice, okay. <laughs> Just as you do. Uh, as always, there's rules on this board. There's only seven of them, so please do read them. Um, we already know what the rules are, so we'll be fine. Now, this is where the fun begins. So, this is the how you become a sapling. So, to become a sapling, you must complete a series of challenges that require you to place items in your hotbar. Um, to begin, type slash acorn. So, type slash acorn. Da -da. Are we uh, doing this? Here we go. Yep. As a awesome. new citizen, you will need to be completing a few challenges before you can get promoted to being a full sapling citizen, where you will have access to our main world. So basically, the main world is called Haven inside of this server. So if you want any more info on how to do it, you can do slash acorn1, you can do slash acorn2, and you can do slash acorn3, which will teach you all of the commands. So basically, all we need to do is do a challenge. So if we do slash acorn challenge 1, because there's 9 challenges, the first challenge is called get chopsticks, or it's called chopsticks. And to complete the challenge, we need two sticks and the rest of our hotbar to be empty. So right. literally, if me and you have a little wander outside... Go uh, find a tree. Oh, perfect. There's trees right there. Yeah. Oh, no, I don't <laughs> want to break one. Oh, wait. Where? Over here. Where are you off to? Oh, that one. Oh, okay. Fair enough. There you go. Let's have a little wander. Over. What's this? Is this a... Uh... Oh, that's a very dry well. Careful. <laughs> a very dry well. What the yeah. hell? There you go. Ah! <laughs> sorry. It Son of a be, mother. It had to be done. I'm sorry, my friend. How right. could you? There we go. Gotcha. Right, here we go. So if we grab... Don't leave the those. tree up. No, no. All right, okay. My uh, bad. You want... I'll tell you what, I'll make a crafting table if you make an axe out of some of the wood that you grabbed now. Okay. There you go. Right, do that. And then you'll be cool, you'll be set. Oh, I got benchmark. Oh, as well as getting these achievements, I'm actually getting the ones Proper in game as well. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. So what am I getting? I uh, make an axe. Oh, actually, there you go. That's all done now. Actually, I don't think we need anything, do we? Because... Chop me some wood. Chop me some wood. Chop you some wood. Chop me some wood. I need to get my achievement. What the hell? What? There you go, brother. <laughs> I thought someone was chucking saplings <laughs> from the sky then. I was like, hmm, what is this now? There we go. Right. Two sticks. Let's do it. Got that. Two sticks. Uh, oh, I've got four there, so let me just break the set off. There we are. So now that we've got those, all you have to do is, once you've got the items in your hotbar that you need for the challenge... You need to have a completely clear inventory, by the way. So everything else needs to be thrown out. No, no, a completely clear hotbar, not inventory. Really? Yeah, it's are just... you sure? Yep, yeah, it's just the hotbar. So if you do slash acorn check, it will check your hotbar. And we're like, ta-da! You've done it! Yay! 
and that is pretty much all there is to it. So there's also a website you can go to because there's actually a visual representation of it on the website. As soon as you've done the slash acorn command, uh, if you go to minecraft.sturdfork.net slash a2s, that's the letter A, the number 2, and the letter S. Um, there's actually a really cool achievement board on there, and you give you get given your badge once you've done it. Now, what you need to know is once you've done all nine of those challenges, to actually be promoted to a full sapling, all you got to do is pop a slap, uh, sapling in slot 1, and do slash acorn space, and then promote. And then what that'll do is it'll promote you to a full user. And that's pretty much it. So obviously that said failed promotion because I haven't done the other nine challenges yet. And there is a slight cooldown as well. So people don't flood in and everybody floods through at the same time. Uh, there's a little bit of a cooldown. But to be fair, for some of the challenges that you're going to be doing, like getting 10 red wool, 10 blue wool, uh, getting obsidian, I think is one of them. You have to build a nether portal in order to get... What the hell? What's this? Martin, look at this. What is that noise? <laughs> oh my God, is this a chicken spawner? <laughs> The oh my god, come up the top here. The Eggatron 3000. <laughs> what the hell? It just drops It just drops <laughs> eggs down, dude. That's yeah, look. What it is. They're all freaking out of the corner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear, That's oh, amazing. Dear. Right, but more okay. importantly, look at this chest. What chest? Somebody's left their items here. Are they? Challenge chest, what the hell? Yeah, I think this Ooh. is one of our beta testers. They've left all this stuff here. Wow, that's that's more for us. <laughs> we get a little bit of help. Oh my god, Toby, just raid this whole thing. Get it. Just, just raid the entire thing. I'm gonna you check think out. He might be angry. Who cares? It's my server, or our <laughs> server, should I say? Uh, Acorn challenge two. What's our second challenge that we need to do? Cake. Oh god, no! I don't know how to get a cake yet. Acorn oh, we need to make a challenge cake. three, maybe. That's get iron, man. So we obviously can't. Actually, do we have iron? In? We need four iron armor. So. Is there any ingots in here? No. We've oh, got so many man. buckets. We've got like three buckets. Okay, never mind. Right, should we show them what happens when you get promoted to a full sapling? Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. So if we obviously do home because we're already full saplings. What? Oh. Oh, God, this guards, Toby. Oh, what? there's spiders as well. Oh, oh Jesus. Oh, oh. oh God. <laughs> oh, oh, I broke it. Okay, there we go. So as soon as you become a full sapling and you do promote, you'll actually get teleported to here. Now, this is the schoolhouse. This is the sapling school once again. Don't build anywhere. Learn the rules first. So you are now in Haven, which is the main world on the server. Um, and essentially, you go into the school to learn the rules. Um, are these guys... They look kind of scary. Oh, no, they're doing the salute. Salute me, Dan. Hold on. Do I have anything to salute? I don't have a they sword. They need to bow to us. What the hell? Ah, there we go. You saluted us. There we go. Thanks. Come on, guys. Thanks. Yeah, that's right. Oh, stop. <laughs> you just got attacked by a woman. <laughs> oh, where did Jade come from? They're just like flying off the roof at you. What the hell? Anyway, okay, right. That's scary. Next part of it. So you're now a sapling. Uh, over here on the board is a little bit of a description as to how the server works. So essentially, we've got this one big world and it's divided up into states or much like Europe, if you think about it, is divided up into countries. So what you want to do is you want to come over to this sign. You want to right click on it and you'll get brought to here which is the portal room now you can either choose to go into the portal room or you can just choose to start running around are you going to come with me toby where the hell did you go go to the signs that we walk into and right, right click the sign that says warp on it that'll warp. bring you to magalus that's where i am right now i don't even see the warp oh, sign oh for god toby there's only two sets of signs oh here it is okay i thought it was on the blackboard god so what black uh, no mind Never mind. Are you here? Just carry on. I'm here. I don't see you. Relog, relog. I see you. Oh, oh no, 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 now I see you, now I see you. Oh, oh. you're gone. <laughs> the server's not gone down again, is it? <laughs> no, you're fine. You logged out and you stayed this time. Okay, okay, so this is Magalus. So essentially what you can do is from this point right here, you can either choose to explore the world from here, and then you'll be done, or you can actually choose to go to one of the many states. Now, not all the states are reachable. Come in here, Toby. There you go. Is this, a, this isn't an elevator. Yep. Ah! What the <laughs> hell? <laughs> Oh, there you go. Beautiful. Right, okay, so this is the map room. So if we take you up to the map room first, you can see here that everything is color-coded. So uh, Kusoi Yume is white. Tampa is pink. Uh, Nexenberg is gray. Now, the really cool thing that the, uh, the guys that made this server have done is they've actually made it into a map you can physically look at. So if I come over to here, you can see the east and the north and the west. Oh, wow. And if you look from up here, this is actually... A world map in itself which i think is really cool. i haven't seen this before this is awesome yeah it's really awesome so what you can do is you can actually go over to any of these states the ones that you're actually able to teleport in and you can say okay i want to live in neotropolis or at least i want to start my journey in neotropolis 
then I can go to there. If you want to start your journey in Amaryllis, then you can go to there. If you want to start in Nexenburg, you can go there. You can see Nexenburg is a very small state within Amaryllis. It's more of a town than a, than a state as a whole. I thought um, Nexenburg was just like a city. Exactly, yeah. Um, so if you need any help with deciding which place to go to, all you have to do is either type in slash SF and then the name of the place, or you can just go to that link up there. There's also a link on my page in the little.com slash MC server, and it will take you to a page where you can look at all of the different states. So you'll get a picture, you'll get a description of what each place is like, uh, and also the rules of the land as well. Each state has different laws. And also when it comes to building as well, you have to build so everything looks the same there. It's one of the rules of the server. But uh, it makes it really good for role playing and stuff. So do any of these take your fancy right now, Toby? I love Nexenburg. I don't know if you've seen it before, but I'd very much like to go back. Okay, I like Elgrin, so I'm going to go to Elgrin. So okay. if you want to come, come with me, you, that's then. all good. Now, I need to actually find Elgrin on this map. But I thought this was a really clever way of doing it. Oh, here it is, Elgrin. Again, Elgrin's a very small place in the entire uh, of the state of Syndro... Syndrotropha? Oh, God, I don't even know. <laughs> Who made these names? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's fine. Oh, does it cost a war? Here we go. We're here in Elgrin. I'm going to make it to daytime. So it's really cool because you can see here, actually, that... When you get relatively close to a town or even to the capital city of a state, you'll see these around. You'll see these big cobblestone roads. So even if you're out there just searching the wilderness, you'll finally come across them. And you'll be able to discover these places just like you would anybody else. Look there's, at that. that oh my awesome. god, there's a reindeer. On a hill. Yeah. <gasps> or is it, an, is it like, what are they called? Antelope. I think, isn't it just a deer? <laughs> I don't know, an antelope, a deer. I don't know, they're all the same, aren't they? I'm trying to set it. Awesome. Oh, there we go. Set it today. So this is El before. this is Elgrin, everybody. I've only been here once, and I really like the look of it. It's weird. It's got a little bit of a Roman vibe about it, with a Colosseum inside of it, and it also has the nice buildings made up of purely stone and wood. There's not much in the way of glass. It's more like you know, uh, <gasps> wooden flap windows. But Elgrin, the free oh. city of stone and sky. Okay, I don't like Nexenburg anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. This is my favorite. And here you go. Here is Elgrin. It's a really, really nice place. It's very much like a um, sort of like a Skyrim and many other RPGs. It's made up of stone and wood. It's got a bit of a, uh, a Japanese uh, dojo type vibe about this tavern. <laughs> You've got the pig on the roast there. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Which is really good. That's disgusting. <laughs> and yeah, and so pretty much I think that's the entire guide for the server. If you ever get stuck at any time, remember again, all the commands are there for you. It's slash acorn1, slash acorn2, slash acorn3. To open up your challenges, you just do slash acorn challenge and then the number of the challenge. And make sure that your hotbar is completely empty except for the items that it asks for. And you need to make sure you have them all in the right slots. So make sure you stop by. All the links are in the description. Uh, remember just to be awesome on the server. You know, don't be a douche and stuff. And uh, we look forward to playing with you all soon. Should we do a synchronized bye? We should do. You ready? Three, two, one. Bye! bye!